Welcome to this video. Today we are testing the free version of Zone Alarm Antivirus, and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. 400 samples in total, and we will be using these samples to see how well Zone Alarm does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection. We'll let Zone Alarm sit for a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's samples remaining, we'll scan the samples folder directly. If there's samples remaining after that, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Please note we are up to date. And with that, Zone Alarm is enabled and we will let it sit for just a few minutes and see if it detects anything. Several minutes have passed. Let's double check our samples folder. And we are still at 400 items. And so at this point, we're going to run a full scan and we will let this run until it's fully completed. The scan has completed. We are at 220 samples. Let's go ahead and just do a quick restart. After restart, we're still at 220 samples. We're going to scan the samples folder directly and that completed and I don't think it found anything additional. And so at this point, we're going to have to execute. I've gotten about one quarter of the way through the list and it looks like it's only removed about 16 items and we are getting some stuff installed. So rather than continue suffering, uh, we're going to go ahead and just restart the computer and run a second opinion scan. I ran a second opinion scan with Malwarebytes, found 234, so we'll quarantine. After the final computer restart, we are down to 12 samples remaining that even Malwarebytes missed. And it does appear that Zone Alarm detected a little less than half with the system scan, which means it was relying heavily on detecting upon execution. Again, I did not end up executing all of them. I executed about a quarter to a third of them and it really wasn't catching a whole lot and that's why I proceeded to run malware bytes. But you can take these results and draw your own conclusion. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.